far as transportation is concerned, let's see what we have done and what Sam Yorty has done. On rapid transit, it was Tom Bradley that led the fight in the City Council starting in January 1971 to get the funds from the state legislature to begin the construction of the first leg of that system. He constantly harps on rapid transit when uh, he's a lawyer and he knows that that is a state agency. He knows it's not under control of the city. And uh, he certainly can't <coughs> criticize my two appointees. I only have two of 11. Now what has Sam Yorty done? He's put roadblocks in the way each and every time that he could. When the council, on my motion, set aside our $4 million a year in a rapid transit fund to be used for that only, Sam Yorty took it out of the budget to be used for other purposes. And the council had to override his veto to put that money back. This year again, as he presents his budget, he again is proposing to take out of that special fund the $4 million that we are trying to set aside. I've pointed out over and over again for years that it's got to come uh, out of the state gas taxes. We've got to amend our Constitution, and that does require the legislature to put a constitutional amendment on the ballot and the people to enact it. And also, the president wants to use some of the federal highway trust fund monies, and he's trying to do that. And his uh, new Secretary of Transportation is supporting that. So these are the only places I know of where we can count on enough money to build a $4 billion <laughs> rapid transit district in this city. First, in a series of alternative press conferences where I plan to talk about the issues facing this city. You will remember that on primary election night, Sam Yorty said that he's going to run on his record. And I'm going to lay out that record for all of the people of this city to see. We're going to talk about the serious problems of this city, and I want people to understand that I'm not afraid to discuss the issues, the problems of this city. That has nothing to do with the fact that I love this city, that I am concerned about it. I'm just not going to hide my head in the sand and pretend that the problems aren't there. We're going to talk about it's not enough that we have four million automobiles on the streets of greater Los Angeles today. The fact is that in 10 years, that number of automobiles will double. And imagine what the problem will be then. We've got to get on with the matter of rapid transit. You know, Sam Yorty seems not to recognize that we have a rapid transit problem. And perhaps that's true because he flies about this city from home to work or other places in a $150,000 helicopter paid for by the taxpayers of this city. Now, while he's flying overhead, we're stuck on our overcrowded freeways, unable to move. That's a district money in the county we will have the basis for matching federal dollars to pay for the construction of the first leg of the system. We've actually started the feasibility study, and it will be th we The issue is that if you're riding in that helicopter, flying above the problem, and therefore saying no problem exists, I think that's the key issue. 
not a question of whether or not there is an urgent need for the mayor to save time. You know, that may be necessary on occasion. But I am talking about the man who flies away from the problem, who says there is no problem, that this is a great city, and therefore anybody who criticizes it on the basis that we have a transportation problem is somehow trying to tear it down. That's just not so. Are you basing your uh, uh, power to this mayor? He says that we have no problems, that this city is well run. And anybody who criticizes, who says we got problems, is tearing down the city. He said that over and over again. You men know that. As I pointed out, and we'll have to revise the budget, of course, uh, in the council, dollars uh, plus 800000 in federal funds to continue the public employment program from March 6th and the $23 million we received in 1971-72. Have not been like leaf raking. They have been really useful jobs, and a great deal has been accomplished with them. Uh, we'll, of course, uh, phase this program out uh, as gently as we can, make the impact as mild as possible through June 30th, 1974. Uh, but at last now, we do know how much money we're going to have, and I didn't know that when we made up the budget. But uh, Dr. Piper and I estimated. Uh, just about the same amount as we are actually getting. So it's not going to change our budget planning very much. Now, Mayor, you talked about June of well, I don't care what he does. <laughs> I, I naturally resent a little bit the wild charges that he makes, which uh, lack truth. And I examiner, and there are two of 11. The supervisors appoint some, and the cities in general appoint some. but. Uh, there's no question that they want to build a rapid transit system. The only question is money. Who can get back there and tell the congressmen and tell the assemblymen and senators what they're to do and get them to take orders, then uh, I'd like to see that. Bradley says that you're not using the prestige of your office, that you're the most powerful politician in Southern California if you wanted to use the job that way to quite limit it legal power. Well, that's a... Uh, you can urge people, and, uh, and I do that. I work with the Southern California Rapid Transit District, but I'm not running around trying to make a scapegoat out of them because I know their problems, and if people would listen to their problems and help them instead of just criticizing them, we might get someplace. Bradley says but you're uh, trying to put roadblocks in the way of <laughs> rapid transit. Uh, well, this so clear it up, what is well, your position Well, I'm not going to make my news conference just a, an answer to all his silly charges. As I say, he's a lawyer, and he knows that that's a state agency, and he knows that I have backed him in trying to improve transit uh, in this city, including getting one senator to, to write to me. He was withdrawing his name from a bill at Sacramento, which would have uh, stopped them from improving the bus service. And that's Senator Lou Kasanovich. He actually was misled when I wrote to him and told him that he was making a mistake. He took his name off the bill because the main thing that they're doing immediately is to improve the bus service. And now, the fact of the matter is the Rapid Transit District proposed building a first leg of a transit system from downtown Los Angeles out to south central Los Angeles, and I supported that. It went down to the city council, and they got in a big fight over which leg of the transit should be built first. Some wanted it out to Wilshire which would be the most economically feasible. The valley councilman wanted it out in the valley. And they couldn't agree on anything, so I went back for further study. Now, this is what the record really is. But I, I had told the Rapid Transit District I would back any leg that they wanted to build if they could just get busy and build something. What? I wrote them a letter, and I made the public statement. Rapid Transit District called me and said, would you support it? And I said, I'll support any leg. Just get something started. Mr. Bradley says that in your proposal. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think that's what we'll do. We'll make better coffee, and it'll be fresher. <laughs> and, uh, will, you, will you change your news conference maybe to another day? Or
again? This Tuesday? Come on. I'll let yeah. you get around here on the other side. Oh, yeah. Jack, Jack, get around the other side. Okay. You sit here in the middle. That's it. Right here, right here. Whatever you're ready, CB. You ready, George? I'm all ready. Uh, see you then. See you then. <laughs> <laughs>